Hi, <clears throat> I want to show you um, how to use a um, very useful tool, which uh, I find I found very useful anyway. Uh, it is called MIDIOX. Uh, this tool allows you to see what kind of MIDI input is coming into your computer. In order to install it, you can go to MIDIOX.com. Uh, it's very easy, MIDIOX, you can see here. I put the link also in uh, the comment of the video. The download link is here. By the way, you can donate if you like the software. I mean, I encourage this. Uh, this is a very nice thing to do for people who are developing such tools. You will see once you install it. By the way, it's, it works on the Windows 7, um, Windows 7 64 bits. I tried it. I, I'm basically working on Windows 7 uh, 64 bits. I'm not sure if it works on uh, Windows 8, but you can see here in the description it's working from uh, Windows 95 uh, until Vista. And also, yeah, as I say, it's working on, um, as I'm saying, it's working on uh, Windows 7 64 bits also. Once you have installed it, the first thing you want to do is go into Options. Options MIDI Devices. Options MIDI Devices. Once you are there, you want to make sure that you add uh, your MIDI device, the MIDI device that you want to listen to. Basically, you can add anything you want. It will just appear afterwards in the input that you see there. Um, here I choose only to see my uh, MIDI keyboard and I want to see what I'm sending to, for instance in that case, I'm sending it to something else. This is the MIDI output, this is what comes out, so what comes out of uh, MIDI aux, because I've been using some mapping here, so it's interesting for me to see what's the output. Basically, um, many users will want to see only what comes in, because they don't want to change anything to the signal they receive. Well, here I can also use MIDIOX to change the signal. I won't show it in this video, but in this video I just want to show you how to install it, how to use it. So basically the very important thing is to add your keyboard there, because otherwise you won't see anything in the input. You click on OK. Um, then you will see these uh, windows. Um, monitor input, monitor output. You can activate them here. If, for instance, I close them, then I can reactivate, reopen them from these icons here. It's very quick, very easy. Display row MIDI input and m main output monitor here. So these two icons. And then you will see what's coming in. For instance, here I have volume pedal, uh, which I'm using on my keyboard. It's connected to my keyboard and it's sending constantly some, uh, some signal. Uh, from the volume. So what kind of volume is it? If, for instance, I try to play a bit with my pedal and you would see that the signal will change. For instance, here a lot of signal is coming in. It's zero, no sound, and now it's a lot, very high, very um, high sound, very loud sound. So um, here I've been mapping it from uh, CC7 to CC11. This is why you see in the output uh, expression pedal. I've been mapping uh, CC7 to CC11 because I needed to have an expression pedal in soft software and uh, it was really a pain and uh, thanks to this here then I could manage to output some expression pedal. So if I start now to play some keys on the keyboard then you will see them appearing also. And here I didn't map two keys, so you, what you see on the top is exactly what you see on the bottom. Since I've, I have now a full signal on, uh, on uh, I mean the full volume on my expression pedal, then you don't see a, a constant stream of um, of signal sent. But if I if I go so let's say from in the middle, then you will see it's constantly sending stuffs, which is also very interesting. Also, if I go down to zero, then it will stop sending information. So, this was it. I just wanted to show you how to use uh, MIDI AUX to see what kind of input you receive. You see also the channel. The channel is a very nice information to receive because sometimes, well, most of, most of the, of the keyboards are working on channel 1, but some of them may be configured to work on other channels. And you would like to see which channel it is if you want to use it in a software. So it's very, it's very, it's very interesting software and it's very light and it's very quick to install. I recommend it if you're using MIDI. 
Um, that was it. Uh, I wish you a pleasant day and I thank you for watching. Bye!